Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing my March monthly. I have this really pretty kit from Sadie Stickers. It is silver foil. It is beautiful. So we've got the full box covers that go across the top. We've got these full boxes. Yes, these are full boxes that I can put down um, to cover the days that are not in the month. And then we've got this sticker here that are also full boxes, but for other purposes. Then we've got some open full boxes, some labels. We've got the sidebar sticker that goes over here. And then we've got the date numbers, really pretty. And they're in little circles. And then this is the sidebar that I won't be using. However, I do have these little vacation strips that I will use and some little flags as well. So I also have these washi that I'm going to bring in. So this one right here is from Michaels. This is the Capital Chic Designs. Um, it's like a women washi. I think it's really cool, especially because International Women's Day is on the 8th. I've got some Simply Gilded here with the bows and then these two are really old, but they're silver and they match. So I've got my kit here. I'm going to go ahead and um, attach these together because that has what has been working lately. I have my March tending list. So I checked in with my goals. I am using the Moxie Life goal planner. Um, I can show you kind of what it looks like and stuff. I have a review on this, but I realized that this is a little more private, like the goal setting stuff, a little more private than I thought it was going to be. So I'm not going to share that with you, but um, all of the information that I like decided on for this month is on this list and I always check in with my goals right here and I go through each category and see what I can add for the month. So that is where my monthly tending list comes from. So we're going to create a list here along with my um, prayer list which is a list of people and or things that I need to keep in my thoughts. So. Um, I think we are ready to get started on this. I love March because it's the start of spring and it's also like you can see the light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to the school year. So it's been a great year so far, but it has been challenging for a lot of reasons as well. So I'm excited to, you know, kind of have a, a season change, a little bit of a, a little fresh start in there. You know, I always love those. So I think we're ready to get started. I'm going to go ahead and lay the foundation of this spread and the date numbers, and then I'm going to go ahead and attach these two pages together and set up my monthly tending list. It's just kind of boring, and I'll speed you through that part, but kind of walk you through it, and then we'll come back and do the actual plans together. I also have this list real quick. Sorry, I forgot it. Um, this is silver foiled as well, and it has a bunch of stuff on here that I can use, including the days of the week that I can put. You can do a Monday start if you want, or you can do a, um, a Sunday start, like in the planner. So I think that's a really good option. I do have a code for Sadie stickers, and you can get my new freebie. So I'll leave that down in the description for you. And now we're ready to get started. So I'm going to start with the big covers and just to forewarn you, I'm going to totally mess this up like a lot. I kept running out of um, <laughs> whiteout tape and then this one like wasn't working. It's totally messed up. So I had to grab another one. Then we actually get to the stickers and I kind of don't know how to lay them down. So usually with a neutral um, spread like this, with this type of planner versus the colorful version, you have some days at the beginning of the month that are not like in the previous month and you can lay down some full box covers and that gives you a guide. And here I don't have that option because Sunday is on the first. So I decided to try to put in the sidebar sticker to see if maybe that would help me have a guide. No. Then I put in, um, I just like estimated right here and that didn't work either. <laughs> it was just a mess here, y'all. Like I even ruined some of the stickers. Like you can't really see until 
like the photos that you'll see on Instagram. I don't think you'll see it, but after the spread like was completely finished, I noticed that the paper was like bubbling at the top and I don't know the cause of this. I'm thinking it has to do with the whiteout underneath and like it dried weird or something. I don't know or had some kind of weird reaction to it. I'm not really sure, but this the corner right here that's still a little bit wet, you can see there, that's the corner that's messed up. So it's like the top of the sidebar sticker and that corner are like rippled and it actually ruined the sticker on the back as well, which is with like a quote box for that weekly spread and uh, it was my plant mom spread and I love that spread so much. I was upset that I totally ruined these stickers, but I put some, uh, some double-sided tape to see if I could stick it down because maybe that was the issue. And then I piled some planners on top of them to let them like sit for a little bit. So I think that will help a little bit, but probably not too much. So because I got everything kind of in the wrong spot, it didn't line up correctly. So you can see I just uh, cut off that little sliver of the sidebar sticker down there. And then because I'm picky, I just went ahead and um, used undo to lift up the bottom and white out that last line. So here I'm putting in the days of the week stickers. I put Sunday down wrong because I'm just doing everything wrong in this spread. So I'm going to fix that real quick. But I did get the rest of them down where they were supposed to be. So if you have this kit or any of her monthly kits, if you line up the bottom of the clear sticker with the bottom of that big sticker, you can get them in the right spot. So I'm just whiting out all of the holidays. I'm going to replace them with some other things. So I put some full box covers down um, on some of these boxes and I will come back and add some stuff later, like I said. On that one, I probably should have put that in a different spot because I couldn't put the date number down, but it's okay. And I put this one on the wrong day. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was like total struggle bus. I don't know what was happening with me, but I was just doing everything wrong. I don't know if it's because I've been using a Shop Jessica Hearts kit for like pretty much every monthly the past six months or what, but... I don't know what my problem was. I definitely damaged that weekly spread though. Okay, so I'm putting some double-sided tape on these two pages just to get them secured together. I'm really hoping that in the next planner, the um, tab is on the monthly again. So I'm just gonna use one of these sidebar stickers because I knew I wasn't gonna use them on the regular spread as my prayer list. And I'm just gonna pop that down in the corner. And then I'm going to white out the hexagon up there with the little lines and um, lay down some washi. So I'm going to start with this silver chevron. And then I'm going to add in the pink bows with the silver bows. And then I put down a strip of this really cute washi from Capital Chic Designs at Michael's because um, March has International Women's Day and I just wanted to bring in some more of that washi. So here you can see me setting up my monthly tending list. So I used that big post-it there to go ahead and write in all of the things and kind of like reorganize them just a little bit. So I just draw in a little box and then list all of the things. This list is pretty ambitious, um, but I would kind of rather have more things than not enough at this point. So I don't know, that's where my head's at right now. I may decide next month to kind of back off and simplify a little bit, but I think for now more is better. I don't know. We're just going to see how March goes and then decide for April what I need to do. I have done a couple of things as well on this list. Like I just did my taxes at the end of February. I just like decided to do them and 
it just happened and then um I did work on my new tier tray design but I want to get some more stuff so that's not complete yet all right then I'm going to take the little numbers and I'm going to use my tweezers so I can get them in the right spot and I'm just going to lay them all down so like I said I kind of messed up the 17th because I put that clear sticker that says St. Patty's Day or St. Patrick's Day I should say um and here I'm just like confused I tried to do it but I didn't want to lift up that clear sticker after all the trouble that I had put my spread through I just decided to skip the 17 but I'm just putting in the rest of the little date dots all right, here is what we have so far. That was a struggle, to say the least. But we made it through, and we're ready to work on the plans. So let's start with the first. I got nothing. OK, <laughs> the second is Texas Independence Day. So I do want to mark that with maybe a label. Um, I feel like I'm missing like a sheet, but I don't know where it is. I'm looking right now, but maybe I'm not. I don't know. But anyway, we've got labels here. I've got some flags and stuff here. Um, okay, so for Texas Independence Day, I have this little sticker book from Michaels from Wonton and a Million. And we've got this little, how about the um, astronaut? That's cute because NASA is in Houston. All right, so now we are ready to, on the third, what do I have? Okay, so I've got two chiropractic appointments here. I don't really want to use those labels. I've got some from Planner Kate that I think I will use. I have a feeling I'm going to have to repurchase this sheet again. I've cut it up into like two parts. So maybe we can use, mm, oh, these colors are a little bit hard because they're so pastel and these are so bright, but let's see what we can come up with. I feel like purple might be a good color, but I've got like a bunch of chiropractic appointments. So maybe we won't use these guys. We'll find something else. I have some silver little asterisks in my foil thingy right there. We can use these guys. All right, so it's on the third and the fourth. I'm gonna go ahead and put down the other ones as well. Come on. And then the ninth and the twelfth. And then I'll reschedule some more. I have another like progress check. So I don't know if I mentioned this in my last monthly plan with me, but I do talk about in my weekly plan with me is um, I have been having some back pain for a while now and I just kind of ignored it for a long time which don't do that that's not a great plan and I got x-rays at the chiropractic chiropractor and there were some things that we needed to fix so um I've been going two to three times a week for the past month month and a half and we're we're making some progress for sure which is great um, on Tuesday, I do have a um, blue apron box coming. So I'm going to use this little, little fork and knife here. And I feel like I'm going to use all of my labels. But maybe I need to just pull in some other ones. Let's see what I have in here. And then I'll go and see what else I have. I've got that little sampler, which is cute. Up those boxes. Mm. Let's see what I have in here. And then I'll just go to my functional stuff. 
Oh yeah. Okay, so we've got some of these labels, which are marble, which will work, I think. And is that it? I've got these little samplers. Do I have two of these? I did not have know that I had two of those. Okay, I'm gonna pull these as well. These white ones. Got some samplers in here. Kind of want to save these for weekly spreads, but I could probably use some of that. Okay, now we've got some more boxes. And let's go with um, Blue Apron. Let's put this right here. These don't fit exactly on the monthly because they are for the weekly, but they work well enough. Okay, so that's for Blue Apron. My box is coming. It's going to have some goodies in it, and I do like to do that once a month. I don't know that I put that on here. Oh, I did. Okay. Um, What else? Okay, so the seventh, I have an oil change. So I don't see a car on here, but I think I might have a silver car or something like that in here. Honestly, all of my foil collections are different between the different foils, so I really don't know what I have and don't have. There's a little car on that one. This is just a very old little sampler, but this will work perfectly. And then maybe we'll do a little white box. So I have an oil change on Saturday at 10 a.m. Really, I'm just, I've scheduled that because it's close to being needed and I'm gonna be going out of town over spring break and I wanna make sure that my car is all good to go. I hit um, 75,000 miles on it, so I have to be a little more careful and I drive a lot since I work out of town. So I keep a um, close eye on my car maintenance. Okay, that's boring, let's move on. Okay, the eighth is daylight savings time and um, it's also International Women's Day, which I do want to use some more of this washi in here, but obviously I already put a box on there. So, I don't know how to mark that, really. Maybe I'll just incorporate some of this, and I'll just write in on here that it's International Women's Day. There we go. All right, and then I got my chiropractic appointment on the 9th, and then I don't really have anything else until I've got that one on Thursday, and then this is payday. So I do want to mark that in some way. We do have some little payday stickers in here, so let's just use these guys. I'm just gonna put this up in the corner like that. I do have another payday on the 21st, so I'll go ahead and do that as well. There we go. All right, and then what else? Okay, so here's where we get into kind of vacation time. So I do have spring break off for um, the school year, so what am I looking for? Those little vacation strip thingies, where are they? On here, okay. So, I kinda wanna mark all of spring break, but I can't really, because I've got like boxes and stuff everywhere. So, I think I'm gonna mark, I think I'm gonna mark spring break here, but I am gonna mark with my trip with these little strips. So we're gonna start over here. 
And I'm going to be gone through Wednesday, I think. I say I think because my sister and I are planning a little trip. So I'm going to go down to Dallas to see her and my nephew and my brother-in-law. And then she and I are going to go take a little, a little day trip kind of thing. We'll stay overnight. We're thinking we're going to go to Waco, which we went a couple of years ago, maybe close to maybe two years ago. I think we went to Waco. We had a blast, but it was just a quick little day trip. And my nephew was a little baby at that time. And I remember he had an explosive diaper situation that put a little damper on our trip. <laughs> but this time it's just going to be us girls. So I'm going to leave on Saturday. So I'm going to put a little strip right here. All right. There we go. Did not cut that straight, but it's fine. All right. Now I want to mark the trip here. And then I also want to mark spring break. So... I think I'll use one of these pretty labels for spring break here. Like that. And that's not straight. Let me fix this real quick. There we go. Okay, and then here, I want to do something cute. I got these once more with love little cars that I think are adorable. So I might use one of these guys. Maybe this one. To mark my trip to Dallas. I think I will grab another one of those or one of these little travel ones for. No, I think I'll take one of these little cars. These are very colorful, but that's all right. For when I come back, which will be this right here. Okay. All right, so I've got that marked and then I have spring break here. Now I do have these cute Fox and Pip like seasonal stickers. They're like new-ish. They came out a little while ago. They're called Tis the Season. There's a couple on here that I want to for sure use. One of them is the St. Patty's Day one, which I want to put right there. Cute. And then the spring one. There's Well, maybe there's not a spring one. Maybe there's just the Easter one. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to use that last month, but that's okay. All right, so I will find something else to mark. Oh, I have these cute little Megan ones for spring. I've never used these. Look at that. That's crazy. I've had these for like two years probably. We'll put that right there for spring begins. She's got a little flower crown. Looking cute with her braid. I will never have enough hair to have a braid like that, but it's very admirable. All right, and then if we go back over here for spring break here. I did have a dentist appointment here, but I scheduled or I canceled it. And then on the 19th, so I'm going to be back home. I want to do some spring cleaning somewhere in here. I think I'm, I'm still thinking about this, but I am throwing around the idea of possibly hiring a cleaning service, which I've never done in my entire life, but I thought I would just treat myself to like a deep clean service and I have or I will have a um just a teeny tiny little refund this year so I thought I could put it toward that I've always wanted to do it but I've never done it but I am hopefully that will work out that I can get that um taken care of okay so we got a little spring cleaning here and then not a ton of plans this month y'all like not anything we're going back to work on the 23rd i can use one of my little fox and pip teacher gals 
finally got some backups of all of these. I think I'll use the professional one because she has a little pink in her outfit. I'm going to check my teacher planner real fast because I do have it home with me right now. And I'm going to see if I'm missing anything. I have this new cover for this huge planner. This is an old cover um, from my life planner, like the design and stuff. I'm just going to check March and see if there is anything that I need to know. Okay, there's a couple things here. All right. I'm going to go back up just a little bit to the sixth. This is the three weeks mark. And I think I will use this little clock. So that's the three weeks mark of the six weeks grading period. Um, what else? Okay, I have a project due on the 23rd, but I could put that with that. And I'm thinking about taking the 30th off, but I haven't decided that yet. So that is everything for my school stuff. There are other events, obviously, but I don't put everything in here. Okay, so here's where we're at with my spread. I do have these full box covers down here that I think are beautiful that I do want to include. I just don't want to add them yet because I don't want to like clog up the spread, but I do see some spots where I could put them. So we're going to save these guys and I've got some labels left that I can use. Okay, I'm going to go fill out this spread and I will be right back to show you the finished spread and everything all together. So here's my pre-planning all finished up for March. This is looking so beautiful. I am really glad I'm using this kit this month. Um, I took a little break from my Shop Jessica Hearts kits, which I've been using for the past few months. So here is February. It's pretty much finished up. I think I just need to add a couple more things. And here is my tending list for um, February. And then here was my beautiful, really just outstanding January spread. Love this so much. So I am a Shop Jessica Hearts monthly addict here, but I think it was a nice change to kind of mix it up and do something foiled. I think it is beautiful and I am really curious to see how this soft spread turns out with all the bolder spreads that I have been doing for the monthly um, layouts. So I will definitely post my finished spread at the end of March on my Instagram as well as February, of course. But um, this is my pre-planning here and I just really like setting these spreads up. They're just so fun. And then you get to add the washi over the month and it just fills it up and it makes it look so cute. So I'm excited to add in some of these washi and see how this turns out. So I'll stop rambling here, but thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.